Hello everyone, my name is Hitashi Garg and in this video I'm going to show you how easily you can create parallax effects using Adobe Edge Animate CC. As you already know, Adobe Edge Animate CC is an intuitive tool that can help you in creating engaging content in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So before we start, let's understand what is parallax effect. Parallax effect is nothing. It is just the difference in the position of an object when viewed along to different line of sight. So let's get started. I have already created a project. It's a blank project. The only thing I have defined is this size of the stage. Just to give you the introduction with the UI, on the right hand side, we have the panels, elements and the library where you can add the elements and the content to your library. And on the left, we have the property panel where we have all the CSS property for an object where we can make changes in the CSS properties. At the bottom, we have the timelines to create the animations. And in the middle, we have the stage, which is called canvas or it's called stage in Adobe Edge Animate, where you will be placing all your content. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to just place our content here so that we can create the animations out of it. So to do that, I have already created two images cropped in Photoshop, which I'm going to use to create the effect here. So let's add the top image. I'm going to snap it onto the right hand side. Let's add the other one, the bottom image and snap it to the left hand side bottom corner. So this is red fold. Uh, and I'm going to create some effect on this particular image. So how we can do that? Here in the timeline to do the to add the effect, what I'm going to do, I'll just double tap on it and move it to say five seconds. Right. And at this five seconds, what I want, I want this image, the bottom image should be moving towards the right. So I'll just select this image and I'll change the position, say around uh, minus 400 pixels onto the left. Similarly, I'll just snap it to the left corner. To do that, I'll just change the X pixels to zero. And that's it. We are done with the parallax effect. I'll just double tap on it, stop it and preview it in the browser. It'll take just a few seconds to render it. And you can see that it's a nice parallax effect we can create using Adobe Edge Animate. What is missing is the sky. To add the sky, I'm going to draw a rectangle in the background. Here, I'll just send it to the back. Send it to the back. And here you can see that we are getting the color in the background. Now what we need to do, we need to add the sky color. So I'm going to the gradient and adding a gradient Right. So you can simply drag and drop it and select the kind of swatch you are, you need for your uh, content and that's it. You can also save it for future use so that you can add this particular gradient in your other project as well. And you can see that now it's looking more beautiful, more relevant to this particular creation. So let's preview it in the browser once again. And you can see that it's looking more better. Let's add more content to the animation. So Adobe Edge supports symbol as well, where you can create the animation and you can use it wherever you want. I have already created the symbol using one of the sprite sheet and I'm going to import it here. So this is my symbol and that's now been imported. So what I need to do, I'll just go ahead and drag the symbol here. Right. Double tap so that I can add the transition and I'll move it to say four second. The only thing I need to do, I need to change this. So currently it's the X, Y motion. And now I want to change it to motion path so that I can specify how my bird should fly. I'll just go ahead and drag it, place it here, double tap on it. And that's it. We are done with the animation. So you can see that the bird is flying here. Right. But have you ever seen a bird flying in straight line? No, obviously. So that's the reason motion path helps you in changing the path of your animation. So the only thing you need to do, just change the path, change the line by this, which is visible on the stage. 
and that's it we are done with the animation I'll go ahead and preview it in the browser and you can see that how easily we can create parallax effect and how easily we can add motion paths to our animations directly in Adobe or Janimax CC. So now you can see that how easily you can create animations using Adobe Edge Animate CC. And you all can get Adobe Edge Animate CC by getting a subscription of Creative Cloud, which is available at creative.adobe.com. So stay tuned for more videos. And thank you for watching.